Hi ladies, it's Lacey Shane with Real Women, Real Success. And today we're doing something a little bit different than we've normally done. I'm filming from my jewelry shop. Uh, making jewelry is one of my hobbies. Actually, it's my only hobby. Um, and I wanted to share it with you a little bit today in the context of stress management. And um, I know for a long time I've worked on alleviating my stress from work and it's a problem for a lot of women. I don't know if you feel the same way, but I've had problems in my life sleeping. I try to work out problems while I'm laying in bed at night and it keeps me from sleeping. I know that there's so many women out there that uh, allow their work lives to consume them and then in their free time they're giving to everybody else whether it's their husbands or their children or their families or their friends or whatever or even people at work and it becomes really hard to disengage and detach from work and that creates huge amounts of stress for women because we care right we're so passionate we care about how we perform we care about the success of our organizations and what I want to encourage all women to do is to try to find a hobby and I have to tell you in a, uh, as long as I've been working in my career, it's only been the last couple of years that I have really found a hobby. My husband has had one for almost his, his entire life. He restores cars. He has a big shop in the backyard and he plays guitar and he has so many things that are just his that help him reconnect with himself that he truly enjoys. And I think women need that. It, it doesn't really count if we, if we say our hobby is going to the football game with our family or our friends or uh, going to a soccer game with our kids. I know those things can be fun, but they're not something that's just for us, that just we enjoy. And for me, this is something that completely takes me out of government, politics, and uh, nonprofits. There is no way that when I'm trying to fasten a jump ring to a chain and a, and a vintage brooch that I can think of politics. I have to think about how to get that piece of metal to engage in another piece of chain. And it really does force um, an environment where you cannot think about your work anymore. So if any of you have gone to stress management seminars, and I've done my share, um, sometimes what you'll hear is different analogies that are supposed to help you get rid of your concerns or your stress, right? And let's face it, sometimes you can't get rid of the problems you're facing. They're going to still be there tomorrow, and there's all kinds of tools for trying to put it aside while you can try to sleep. And uh, one of the ones that I know is I was told one time to put all my problems in a box and put it down at the end of the block and run a fuse to it. And when I got home at night, light that fuse and let it burn to the box and let the box blow up. And for me, um, that was you know, a, a man who was teaching me that I love men and that might have really worked for him. It never worked for me. The box never blew up. It uh, just stayed there and I was unable to get rid of those worries. And I still don't always sleep well at night. Um, but that's more of something I've tried to address through health and diet and, and other things of that nature. So the hobby for me, and I think for many women, get you to a point where you can um, disengage from the worrisome thought or at least give yourself a break from the problem solving that you have to do. I mean, we oftentimes, especially if we're in management or executive leadership roles, we're solving everybody else's problems all day long, right? Whether it's our family or the people at work, it's what we do, we're problem solvers and we need to just disengage from that. If you enjoy your hobby, and sometimes it takes a while to find one, I mean, it took me a while to find mine, but if you can find one that you really, really enjoy, you will find that when you're truly engaged in it and it's just for you, not for your kids, not for your husband, it's just yours and you truly love it and enjoy it, you will disengage from those worrisome thoughts and problems that you have at work. Temporarily, it's true, but at least it does give you that break and that's what you need. I can tell you that I'm so much more energized because I have this, this hobby. I wanted to share it with you today. It's my jewelry shop and 
I've built it over the last couple of years and I'm having so much fun and I even uh, get rejuvenated by doing this hobby. There are times where, where I've woken up at four in the morning to do this and I'm actually awake and energized because I'm going to do something that I love. And so it does sort of force a more restful point of view and mindset. So I want to encourage you to get a hobby. I know a lot of women that don't have one just for them and maybe their husbands do or people around them do or the kids do. Go out and get a hobby if you don't have one and research or find something that you really, really enjoy. Even if you don't know about it, maybe you can study up on it. That's what I did. I studied up on jewelry making and vintage jewelry and now I'm, I'm making a little side business out of it. So that's my message to you today on stress management. Find something you love that's just yours, that doesn't involve anybody else. Close the door and let yourself do it for a certain amount of time each week. And allow yourself to feel the joy of stress relief by doing something that you love so much and that provides a little bit of a rest and a little bit of a mini vacation from the stresses of your everyday work. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed being in my jewelry shop today. I've enjoyed seeing you today, and I will see you next time. Have a great week, and know I'm your biggest fan.